Now, not all programming languages have this, this concept of sum, right? So famously, SQL doesn't have it. Relational databases don't have sum types. Uh, and the, and, and object, classic object oriented programming also doesn't have that directly. You could emulate it with a class hierarchy, but uh, it's kind of indirect. And right, it's not, I mean, it's, it's kind of an encoding of that idea. The problem then is you run into sort of, you know, Wit Wittgenstein's dictum that the, the you know, the, the borders of your language are the borders of your world. And so you, it, it tends to, so a lot of software out there is, contains, contains really poor data models because their authors tend to not think in terms of sums. And this tends to be neglected and sort of programming education out and, and software architecture education outside of functional programming, surprisingly. So you would think, how oh, can you get things done without that? But that is really not. So what people think of is they, I mean, I mentioned these things in domain driven design, whatever your, your entities and your value objects, and then they maybe get to the point where what attributes do I need there? But that's a very basic question. And you cannot get to more from there to more advanced data models, specifically the combinator models that we use in functional programming, which I mean, you need some types for accommodator models. And you also need abstraction, which the pro software architecture community at large has gone, has, 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 has gotten averse to. So this means that a lot of software, a surprising amount of software out there just kind of pushes pieces of data around, but doesn't really have the rich structure that would, that would make the software be great and make our lives better, right?